Hello, insiders. This is Todd, and today I'm here with a special guest, Matt. He may be a familiar face to some of you, but if not, we hope you'll get to know him today. He is a former creator himself who has turned into a YouTube employee and has been at the company for a number of years now. Uh, he most recently headed up the YouTube Creators official channel, and uh, now he's transitioning into a new role that I think is going to be pretty interesting for creators to hear about. So, Matt, why don't you uh, introduce yourself? First of all, there's a lot of pressure here because I'm a low energy guy. I don't have that that same Tom energy, but I'm going to try to bring it. Yes, I was an active creator from about 2008 to 2012. I was in our very first Next Up program before I was hired by YouTube as a content strategist. So I, I met Google employees for the first time in the Next Up program and later I was hired. So I did the content strategy role for a few years and then I led the team behind our official creators channel, you know, the other channel. And now I'm in this new somewhat experimental role as a creator liaison. Interesting. So uh, maybe before we get into that, we could talk a little bit about your experience as a creator. How did you initially get into YouTube and is there any advice you want to share uh, with people who are just getting started? Sure. I was a film school guy. I went out to LA to make movies. I wrote screenplays and I was very much a, a behind the camera type editor, camera operator. And then I stumbled on YouTube and I realized there was huge potential there, but I had to get in front of the camera, which initially was a, a challenge for me, but I just kept shoving myself out there. And um, I, I tried to tell funny stories. I wore women's wigs, you know, Typical YouTube stuff. Wait, wait, wait a second. You wore wigs? Is this still up on YouTube? I don't think so. I think it was deleted. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin if you're able, able get, get your, your elbows, elbows off the table. table. Ah. Okay, you can just tell me. You don't have to sing it. Well, a good tune will help you remember. That's not proper etiquette. <laughs> As for advice, I think Tom said it best in his goodbye video. It's a little bit of a cliche, but it really comes down to passion. If you are not passionate about making these videos and talking about this week after week, you're just going to run out of gas eventually. So that is absolutely number one. Make sure this is a topic that you can talk about for a long time that you love to talk about. I actually tried to experiment with other channels based on trends I was seeing and things that look like, oh, wow, this is really blowing up. I'm going to try to make a channel about this. And I, I petered out after a few months just because it turned into a grind and I just wasn't into the content at all. So make sure you love it. So uh, you've been leading the YouTube Creators uh, official channel for a while. Um, would love to get your take on Creator Insider as a channel, um, what you think about it, and, and just sort of what was it like? Uh, what did you enjoy most about running the YouTube Creators channel? It was a lot of fun. I had come off of being a content strategist for YouTube for several years. So I was writing best practices for all channels and coming up with what it takes to build an audience with a YouTube channel in general. And then I had a chance to get my hands on one channel again after four or five years of not really touching my own channel. So it was a lot of fun to, to just apply those best practices that I had been writing. And it really took off. I mean, the, the channel went from 300,000 subs and is up to like 200 uh, or 2 million now, not 200 million. So uh, what should we be doing over here on Creator Insider too? Yeah, yeah, I love the scrappiness of this channel and authenticity. At first I had, as like a film guy, I, I, I was a little taken back by the scrappiness and the bad lighting and sometimes bad audio. But it, I've come to believe it's really filling a need for YouTube. I like that we have both. We have the official kind of fancy channel and we have the really raw, just tell it like it is creator insider channel. I think my main advice to you all, as you probably know, Todd, is that um, I think the, the, the information needs to be more concise. You all used to go on and on for about 20 minutes per video. And I think you've, you've uh, made it more concise now, just kind of compacted the information down to five to 10 minutes. And I believe the audience has responded in a positive way. I don't know. Somebody told me that the algorithm likes long videos, but I guess they were wrong. Those conspiracy theories. <laughs>
All right, so so now you're you're done with the YouTube creators uh, role for now, and you're moving into this creator liaison role. Uh, what's a creator liaison? What are you working on this year? The goal of the job is to help creators better understand why YouTube makes certain decisions and also to help YouTube better hear creator feedback. And I think we've heard for years that we've needed a role like this. And so I'm taking a crack at it. It's somewhat experimental. I'm jumping in. And in my experience or in my opinion, there's always been a bit of a disconnect between the creator experience and the YouTube employee experience. Employees are incredibly smart people. They're doing their very best for creators genuinely, but the majority of them have never experienced the highs and lows of running a channel of their own, sort of the, the rush of a viral video or the sting of getting a negative comment. And frankly, the fluctuations in monthly income, our, our salaries don't fluctuate. If anything, they slightly go up over the years. And so it's a very different experience. On the other side, most creators have never worked with uh, or been a part of a global tech company that has all these really complex responsibilities to users, to advertisers, to you know government regulations. So creators don't really see the complexities of supporting millions of channels versus their one channel. So that's where I'm trying to come in to help employees better understand the creator experience and to help creators really understand all the complexities around 500 hours uploaded per minute. So you're helping creators kind of empathize with the people who are behind YouTube and trying to make it better. Creators may not have all that context of complexity in dealing with uh, YouTube at scale with lots of different stakeholders and helping. Exactly. YouTube employees like really put themselves in the shoes and empathize with the creators who have a very different day-to-day -day experience uh, Makes sense. So uh, Creators have something they want to share with you um, You know a concern comes up. What's the best way for them to connect with you and get get their concerns onto your radar? Well, I'm operating from a new Twitter handle called YouTube liaison and the best way to reach me is to tag me there with feedback it's a bit of a challenge because I can't, as one person, I can't support people with individual uh, issues like a demonetized video or something like that. And that has come up a lot. You know, I've tried to help people here and there, but the real handle to tag is Team YouTube for that sort of thing. But definitely, if you have some feedback or you're seeing you're seeing a lot of feedback from other creators, just tag me. I see just about everything. I think. And so let me know there. I might DM you. I might ask questions in reply to clarify what you're seeing. All right. Well, thanks, Matt, for helping YouTube keep it real. I hope that you will uh, be spending a lot more time on the cool creator channel at YouTube, uh, Creator Insider. And, yeah, I'm sure people will continue to visit your, your old YouTube creators channel as well. Um, thanks for coming on, and good luck in the new role. Thanks for having me.